Hi guys, got it mostly cleaned up. Welcome back, half fast, 719. I'm gonna show you guys today how you can save a lot of money on some repairs on some wheel bearings. So, long story short, I put manual locking hubs on my 4th gen Cummins Mega Cab. So they got under the caps, I got locking hubs to free up some uh, rolling resistance, to free up some, to get some more MPGs, miles per gallon fuel. Um, and uh, the kit I ordered came with this little grease fitting right here on this fancy schmancy grease gun. So this little grease fitting. Uh, they want you to, the, the Ram Man, Inc., Wayne over there, he wants you to grease your bearings. So, I bought some grease, and uh, some high dollar expensive grease, and greased the new wheel bearings. The wheel bearings that were in there are Timken. Um, not too sure. Man, NICs. I hate NICs. Um, not too sure on the make, manufacturer of these. Bearings, wheel bearings, but these are what I took off. Um, they're pretty, pretty loose. I did a rolling resistance on them, and uh, compared to brand new, they were about 20 inch pounds harder to rotate. So this one seems kind of dryish. I don't really know. I don't really think it's really that dry. So um, what I decided to do, since these weren't actually bad at all is and I'm gonna go ahead and store these uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grease them so not too sure if you can see in there but where is it inside there it uh, looks pretty pretty dry so it was only a matter of time before these went bad um, so basically, you have this little fitting that ran, the Ram Man makes. Um, it's got a little O-ring on it. It's a little O-ring. And uh, it's just a grease fitting. So decided to show you guys how you can make your own. So I got here. Got this uh, green O-ring set. And I uh, believe... The O-ring is this O-ring right here, which is a 5 16 5 16 by 7 16 uh, by 1 16 So you take an O-ring and you take one of these Zerk fittings, so it's an 8 inch 8 inch NPT This is a 45, this is a 90 and this is straight So you can pick your poison Whichever one you want. Auto parts store carry these. This kit I got from Harbor Freight a while ago. Item number 67570. And it is a 50-piece Zerk fitting set. So what I did here is I made a 45-degree a angle one. All I did, which you can do, whoever can do, is... I just made a groove, if I can get this off one handed, which I probably can't, um, there we go. all I did was make a groove inside there on one of the threads, take this, probably needs a little, little bit of grease on it, let's see if we can't get a little grease out of here. A little grease on there. Now I'm not trying to say do this and he does sell these on his website. He sells something, I don't know. But the one I got is what the what the kit came with. And I thought, well, 
If you didn't want manual locking hubs, you can go on his website, you can buy one, or you can just make your own. So, um, rag. So basically, I'm going to go ahead and grease this. So this is just going to fit in there. And uh, you just want it to fit nice and snug. So this is for Ford, Chevy, Dodge. This is for uh, anybody up there with uh, a slot like this. So with an ABS, that's where your ABS sensor goes in. Your ABS sensor goes in here with a little 5 millimeter Allen, or yours might be different. And uh, if you can, they actually recommend greasing these. He does, uh, Wayne over at the Ram Man, recommends greasing these every 15 to 20,000 miles. And it's pretty easy. I'm just going to stick this one in there. He has videos demonstrating how it's done. So let me see what we got. Just put it in there. And I'm going to go with volume on this one. Because I get better leverage. And he just recommends three pumps. Two. Three. I'm going to leave that fitting in there. I'm going to rotate this. I can I can already feel it's a little smoother. Um, he recommends three pumps on the new wheel bearings, but this is an old wheel bearing, and it seems pretty dry. I mean, you can see it's actually freeing up a lot. So I'm just gonna put some pumps in, rotate it some more pumps in. Obviously if you're on the you have it on the vehicle it's a little easier. So that's five pumps right now. That's number six. So you said a dry bearing can take up to take up three three ounces which is uh, one of those little small tubes of grease. Okay. I can feel it getting getting a little smoother and tougher. Like the grease is getting into the actual bearings. Oh yeah, that feels it's feeling good right there. So any of you guys out there with your dodges, Fords highly recommend if you're gonna do brakes make one of these little adapters oh, geez. make one of these little adapters or buy one from the Ram Man and uh, put it on there and grease it Man, this thing's feeling like a brand new bearing and I lost count so I do one more pump and uh, then I'll go show you guys how to make one. But it's feeling a lot stiffer. I think if this bearing was still on the truck, it would last a lot longer. So let me go ahead and uh, do one more pump, spin this thing, and then I'll show you guys how to make one. Actually, uh, let me put it on the one I made and pump it and see if it competes or compares to his. Let me uh, let me do that real quick. Okay, it takes a little bit to get these fittings off of this, but here goes the one I made. Put it on there. Spinner. Spinner for dinner. Make sure it's in there. And let's see what happens. That's three pumps. 
four, five, six. All right, let me spin it. Let's see what this thing feels like. Oh yeah, feels, feels nice and loose. Loosey goosey. Slide you guys back. As you can see, I'll put that one down there. It's not gonna work. I'll put it like this. You guys can see that. Out spinning. Spinning. This one's really easy to spin. So. Pump in. Another pump in. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Um, let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make one of these real quick for you guys to see. Um, don't do this at home. Go to your friend's house and do it. I'm gonna make it on the bandsaw because it's easy for me. So let me go ahead and get you guys set up, and I'll make one real quick. All right, here we go. Got a brand new 90. Be very careful. I don't want to wear gloves because gloves can catch on the blade and pull you in and, and cut. Sorry guys, that was loud. Dropped it once, twice. Anyway, you just want to make a groove on it, make it groovy, and then uh, just find an O-ring, 
whatever o-ring you want to find is okay I have this set of uh, o-rings from uh, Harbor Freight and uh, the other one so just find one that fits so that one that one fits but it feels really really tight Let's see if it actually fits in inside here if it doesn't fit then it's not gonna work obviously ring is just a little bit too big so just go to the next size smaller of o-ring and it'll just be trial and error so that seems like o-ring is just too thick so that one's not gonna fit so go to the next size lower and uh, should stretch it out pretty good. I want a tight little fit on the O-ring anyway. So that might that one might work. Take it. That one might not work. Seems like it'll work. Yeah, O ring's not O ring's not messed up or anything, so it works. It's just a really tight fit, which is actually a lot better. So anyway, so now I got three of them. I can give one to the guy who bought my 2012, so that he takes care of the truck. And uh, that's going to be it, guys. So that's a quick little easy tip on how to save 400 bucks uh, wheel bearing if you buy good wheel bearings. So if you're a cheapskate, you can buy a whole, uh, both of them for like 350 but then you're going to be replacing them time and time again. So if you can, get Tim Kin. That's another reason why I went. That's why I went with the Ram Man to begin with because he uses starts off with Tim Kin bearings. So... All right, I'm going to clean the mess. I'm going to put these away and save them for just in case. So, all right, guys, there you go. Save lots of money. Grease your wheel bearings, but grease them before it becomes too late. Thanks for watching, guys. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Go check out One and, uh, one and Glenn. Go check out my buddy. See how he's doing. Crashed on a mountain bike a while back. Got some scrapes and uh, then he stuck his hand in some acid both of his hands and his feet in some acid and jacked up his hands so go check him out see how he's doing and then uh, go check out the Ram Man Inc and uh, you can purchase one of these little deals or make your own alright guys thanks for watching subscribe later